Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a compact Raspberry Pi setup when you are on the go. So you don't need an uh, extra monitor, you can just use your laptop. And so let's get right to it. So I have my Raspberry Pi here, it's just the standard Pi and it's all, you know, it's got its stuff hooked up. And then I have this USB-C cable here. And then I have these capture card. You can get these for about $10. I think that they're worth it. I use these for recording my videos. So I won't be able to screen record today because I'm going to be using this. But you need one of these and basically you can plug your Raspberry Pi into here and it thinks it's a display, but it's actually like a webcam. Basically your computer recognizes it as a webcam. Then you will need a laptop. And so I'm going to turn this on here and we can set this stuff up. So basically you will need to get your Raspberry Pi set up with this normal stuff. You will need a mouse and keyboard. So let's plug that in there. And then we can plug the other end into our computer when we are ready. But I'm going to plug this in. And so the other end needs to go into our cord on our capture device. So I have this cord right here, and so it goes into my capture device, and the other end is a USB, so it plugs into the computer. So now I'm going to plug this into the computer, the capture card first, and then I'm going to get this stuff out of the way and plug in the other in a moment, but I want to set this up first. So I actually decided to go ahead and install Bandicam so I can record my screen right here because I was having issues with reflections. Anyway, so what you want to do, this is a fresh install of OBS Studio, which you can get through the link in the description. And so you want to do optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming. You want to click next and then you want to set these. So what I would do is choose this one right here, but it depends on, you know, the resolution you want to use. And then the FPS, you can set it to whatever you'd like, but I wouldn't put it too high or it will be hard for your computer to process. And you can also use these for screen recording because that's what I do all the time when I'm recording these videos. So you want to do apply settings right here, and then we can make these full screen here and we want to add a source. So what we want to do is make sure our capture card is plugged in and then do video capture device and we can name this screen capture and we can also use these for recording like pretty much, you know, anything, any computer. So I have it on the camera right here. That's what it defaults to, but we want to change it to USB video. And so now it's black because our Pi is not on. Yeah, so resolution you will need to set as well. So go to custom resolution and you want to choose the same as you had before and then FPS match output FPS. Okay, that should be good. And so it should be, you know, the same size as the window by default. And so then if you are screen recording or something, so if you're actually recording this, you will also want to do audio input capture. And so you want to name this screen record audio. So depending on your capture device, you may have audio from the Pi, but I'm going to, you know, actually do my, my audio, you know, from my microphone here. And so then also in preferences, so if we go to settings right here, we want to do output and then change these right here. Um, on MKV, you have to, you know, process the file in order for it to actually look proper. And so then, you know, you want to change that ideally, because if you don't, then you have to, you know, do stuff after, after you do it um, and get it processed. But then this also, you want to make sure that your recording doesn't get interrupted. So if it's very important, maybe leave it on MKV. But I think that's all good for our settings right now. And so apply and OK. And now let's try turning on our Pi. So you may be able to power it with the laptop. You may not. But I'm going to plug it in right here. And so our Pi should be now booting up. And so we can see there is a low voltage icon right here. So we want to ideally use a different power source because that may be an issue. The power light even on my Pi is turning off. So it sounds like it's pretty low voltage. 
So what I would recommend is to use like a power bank of some sort. And so then you can power your Raspberry Pi separately. And if you are doing like an overclock or something, I have this overclock to two gigahertz. If you are doing something like that, then it's going to even use more power. But anyway, we can see our Pi is right here. But how do we make these full screen? Well, it's pretty simple. You just right click on it, do full screen projector and select your display. And so now it's full screen on the laptop and we can just use our Pi with a separate mouse and keyboard. And I think that this looks really nice. We can adjust the resolution if we want to. But it's looking pretty good. So if we go to the terminal and then if we, you know, type a command on our, our other keyboard for our Raspberry Pi, like say we, you know, tried to update the Pi or something, you know, it, it works just like that. And so it's, it's a pretty simple process. And so you just press the escape key to get back to the OBS settings. And then if you want to record, you can use this record button down right here. But that's pretty easy. And you can also do this, you know, with Android or iOS. And that's a video for another day. But just keep in mind that there is a way to do that with the same kind of capture card. And so I use this capture card, you know, to record all my videos, like I said before. And it's a, you know, screen, screen recording capable card. And so I just basically use OBS on my Mac and I just record it on whatever computer, whether it's a Raspberry Pi or another computer, like say I'm testing a new build of Windows. I do it on there. And so it's pretty simple, except I edit in iMovie. So I have to use Handbrake to convert it to the right audio or the audio gets messed up. So I'm not sure exactly why it does that, but depending on your editor, you may need to do that. But if you're just using it to cast your screen, then it will probably be fine just like this and you can make it full screen or whatever. And so I hope this has helped you out. And so make sure to check out the other videos on my channel, subscribe, and we will see you next time.